um, a few months ago, I parked my car on Melrose Place and I stepped away for a minute. And the one time I left my backpack inside my car, uh, someone broke all of the windows and took it. And inside of it was my computer and my three camcorders and my hard drives. And I had to remotely wipe the computer that had my 200 page book for Simon & Schuster, um, which I didn't have backed up on a cloud because we do not have any, you know, cloud systems that we access. And despite that, people are still able this week to remotely access my phone and leak our songs and personal photos. And I just want to mention that despite all of this happening, I am confident in the record to come. And despite so many safety factors in so many different levels, I really want to persist and make the best art I can and eat and make the best art I can and even if I have to start over with my book which I do um, you know obviously I won't ever leave anything in the car again even if it's just for a moment um, but we've had the same issues at the house and it is a constant thing and although I'm so grateful to be able to share all of the good stuff I just also want to share that it has been a challenge and um, I think it's important to say that it is a bit of a roadblock in terms of the creative process and keeping things safe and valuable and keeping me safe as well with all of the um, action that's been going on around me, my home, everywhere I go. And so I don't even think a plea for a respect of some privacy would even do anything but I do want to be honest about the fact that I do have concerns about what's going to be out there and the two years worth of videos that we have from the family and everything we were planning on turning into just a small snippet of our lives over the last couple of years and whatever else may have been on there I'm not exactly sure what's going to happen with it um, but that's just, that's just what's been going on and with everything leaking lately, I just want to bring it to light that it, it's hard and there's really nothing to be done because I can't really make my devices any safer, you know, however people access them is unbeknownst to me and unavoidable unless I just completely don't have them and no one has them in terms of the songs. So I'm hoping that nothing else, you know, becomes available or stolen and this is just an off the cuff thought that I've had for a long time that I don't really like to share things that are going not to plan but you know it's why I've been private in the first place and it doesn't really seem to have any bearing on whether or not things actually stay private but you know even if what I'm left with is just my innermost thoughts I accept that but <clears throat> just want to say that it is a challenge and um so please don't listen to the music if you hear it. Um, please don't listen to the music if you hear it um, because it's not coming out yet. And um, in terms of the book, I loved the book that I lost with all of my heart and put a lot of passion into it. Um, and in terms of the camcorders, we shall see what happens with that. So that is an update that I would obviously normally not give but I'm worried about it so 
you know, now that it's like the third time that this has happened, I just wanted to address it. So that's that and onward and upward and um, we'll see. Thanks.